Yo, what is going on? Welcome to the Southern Savage YouTube channel. So today I'm starting a series on the channel where I buy a cheap car, I fix it up, and then I flip it and resell it for more profit. So usually the cars end up needing some work. Maybe it needs new brakes or hopefully not a new transmission, but some of them do. I try to stay away from those. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it's just a good wash and a good interior detail will do the trick. I'm going to show you how I find the car, how much the car cost me, how much money for parts, and how much I actually end up selling it for. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So in today's episode, I came across a Facebook Marketplace ad for a 2007 Pontiac G6. I've actually seen the ad a few times, but kept passing over it because honestly, this has to be the worst description ever. Here's what I mean. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, yeah, whatever that means. But I knew this car could have potential. It only had 150,000 miles, and the body didn't look all beat up, and the paint didn't look shot. I messaged her asking for more information, and she told me it wasn't her car, but she was selling it for her sister. She gave me the sister's phone number, and she was Hispanic and didn't speak English well at all. The conversation went something like this. Hi, I was interested in your Pontiac for sale. Can I get some more information on it? Yes, it run and drive, but make a noise when you drive. Don't know what it is. You're welcome to come see it. So that's basically all I got. I knew two things from this. I knew that the car ran and drove, supposedly, and I also knew that the price was negotiable without even asking. So the first time I saw the ad, the price was around $1,500, and then the next day it dropped to $1,100, and then today, or the day I went to go look at it, the price was at $900. So I knew she was uh, looking to get rid of it pretty quick, and which was a good thing for me, so... I also like to look the price up on Kelly Blue Book and also check local listings for the average sale price. On KBB, the average price this car goes for is around $3,200 in good shape. I'm looking for a quicker sale to reinvest that money into another car to flip, so I don't mind selling at a lower price of maybe around $2,500. Even if I buy the car for $700-ish and spend a couple hundred bucks on repairs, there is still enough profit margin to make it worth my time. I sent her a text saying I was on my way and had cash in hand. The car was located about 30 minutes away, so it wasn't too far and it was worth the gamble. I got there and looked over the car. It was definitely dirty and needed a good cleaning, but nothing I couldn't do myself. I started it up and it sounded good and everything checked out. No unusual noises, and to my surprise, the AC blew ice cold. I went for a test drive and it ran and shifted smooth, but it definitely needed some front end work. It needed a wheel bearing, as you can tell. It also needed two new front tires and some control arms. It would cost me a couple hundred dollars for repairs, so I offered her 700 bucks and said that's the best I can do in its condition. Well, she took it. So I received the title and the keys and I was on my way. I had some work cut out for me. This car was, whew, it was one of the nastiest cars I've ever seen. I took it home and got to work. I knew a simple vacuuming job wasn't going to cut it, so I went to Walmart and picked up a Bissell Green Machine. It was relatively cheap and it had good reviews, and I knew it would end up paying for itself in the long run. And I got some ice cream. So let's go ahead and make a car checklist to keep everything in order. It's going to need a wheel bearing, it's going to need some control arms, tires and alignment, headlight restoration, and I'm not going to include car washes or vacuums because I want to do that with any car I buy. And the last one on the list, you don't know about yet, but you're about to see it. I was starting to clean it when I found out the worst issue with this car. Cockroaches. It had them. If I knew this car had roaches, I would have never bought it in the first place, but I was stuck with it and had to make do. I knew I had to get rid of them, and since I've only flipped a few vehicles in the past and I was relatively new to the scene, I didn't want to start with a bad reputation. I took out the seats and did a deep clean and removed all food and basically everything. This was going to slow down things. You can't get rid of roaches overnight, so I had to act on that fast. Kind of a weird story, but a friend of mine had an old Samsung TV he was giving away and he had it set outside at the road. It looked like it might rain soon, so I told him I would list it on the marketplace for him so it didn't get ruined by the rain. I listed it, and five minutes later I had a guy drive 30 minutes away to come pick it up. He was very thankful and told me he was an exterminator and if I ever had any issues with pests that he would help me out free of charge. The timing couldn't have been any better. The next day he delivered me some roach traps that he claimed were highly effective so it was a win-win for both of us. He got a free TV out of it and I got some roach traps. I set about four of them and had to wait a few days to see if it helped any. In the meantime I scored a deal yet again on Marketplace where someone was selling two of the exact same size tires I was looking for. He was asking 40 bucks, but I negotiated it down to 30 bucks. That saved me quite a bit of money since they would have cost me over $100 a piece for brand new ones. I also ordered the control arms and the wheel bearing off eBay at a reasonable price. Next part was going to be giving it a car wash and restoring the headlights. 
I try and restore the headlights on any vehicle I buy. It makes it look so much better and it doesn't cost anything. These were pretty bad, but after about 20 minutes they turned out pretty nice. Definitely a lot better than before. So now all that was left was getting the parts I ordered off eBay installed since I had to wait a few days for those to arrive. The parts finally came in and I got those installed plus I got the two tires put on and got a wheel alignment. It felt like a new car now and it was ready to sell. Well, almost. Still got the roach problem. Now it was a waiting game for the traps to do their job so in the meantime, let's tally up the total cost for everything and see where I stand. The car costed me $700, parts costed me $121, tires costed me $30, and alignment $70, so $100 for that. Labor was only $200 at the shop with my discount, and $17 for miscellaneous stuff like putting gas in it, and I had to buy a $7 Torx bit to take out the seats. Total money invested comes out to $11.38, which is around where I figured I'd be after everything was all said and done. Not too bad. So let's do a checkup on the roaches, let's see how they're doing. It's been a few days since the traps have been in here. Got a few new dead ones. A couple up here. I got traps under each one of the seats. Let's check out the back seat. This is usually where they hang out. Oh yeah, I got a few more here. Quite a few little ones there. Got a few roach traps here and there. Well, they definitely seem to be working. Just maybe a couple more days. Should be good to go. Several days later. It's been a few days and the roaches have seemed to die out. Or at least they found a better hiding spot. But pretty sure they're all dead. Or will be very soon. I listed the car for sale on Marketplace on a Friday right before I went out of town for the weekend. Normally I would have waited till I got back in town to list it, but I wanted to list it early to attract some buyers. And it did. I listed it for $3,200. I had a few message me about it. Some wanted to trade, but the only trade I was looking for was some of that green paper. I set up a time with a potential buyer on Sunday when I returned. He seemed very interested, and most importantly, he said he had some cash in hand. So fast forward to Sunday, I meet him, and he was buying it for his wife. She recently had a G6 and loved it, and it was looking for another one. They looked it over, test drove it, and they wanted it. We negotiated a little bit through text and told them the best I could do was $2,900 since I had other people interested in it. He didn't try to negotiate any in person, he said he would take it for $2,900. So that's what we decided on. So let's do a recap and see how we turned out on this one. I had invested $1,138, but let's go ahead and round up to $1,200, just to be on the safe side. The car sold for $2,900, that equals out to $1,700 in profit. I had this car for about two weeks, which is a little longer than I would have liked to keep it, but the roach problem had to be solved. So that's how I made $1,700 in about two weeks off a 2007 Pontiac G6, and I'm perfectly happy with those results. Thank you for watching and keep a lookout for my future videos. I have two I'm in the process of flipping and will make the result video as soon as I can. Peace out.